Dr. Chora, let me ask you, uh, ma'am, you know, you used to teach us in school, you were our principal, um, and, and you know, there were thousands of us at Delhi Public School, Arki Purim, and, and, and you were a particular type of educator, very strict one also, by the way. Uh, but when you went back home, uh, you had to, to, to cater to Tamanna, her very special needs, uh, her needs in growing up, uh, her emotional requirements. How for you was it such a challenge, um, you know, from working in that school environment, uh, and then coming back home and being an educator and a friend and a mother in a very different sense. If I can have a student like you, then my mothering became very easy. <laughs> Dear friends, you'll be so surprised that I didn't really bring up Tamanna alone. The whole student community was bringing up Tamanna. And that's a fact. I would sometimes bring her to the school itself and uh, all the kids wanted to help me. They said, ma'am, you go teach, we'll play with her, we'll look after her. And that gave her the confidence to be with more and more people. She was not in a world by herself, she was in a world of dip sides. So Vishnu being an example, you can understand what fortune I had. For me, DPS and home, kids and my own kids were one. And I think that's what makes a difference in the life of a teacher. I was in DPS for 40 years. Tamanna turns 53. And when I came to DPS, and she was just about 13, but the doctor said, that she is like a three-year-old baby. So you appreciate what I'm trying to say. She was 10 years behind time, having been born with cerebral palsy and delayed milestones. But I did not leave one stone unturned to be able to reach out to the physiotherapist, speech therapist, <clears throat> and the school, DPS, the society, gave me two years in diff at different times to take her to UK and USA for education, <coughs> where I also educated myself. And that's how 40 years ago we set up the Manna. And today we have thousands of students who passed out of the Manna and they're also working. All I'm trying to say is that you need the community <coughs> to bring up the mannas of the world. <coughs> I wouldn't be flattering really NDTV, but we need more such programs. Dr. Chona, um, is that uh, something, I mean, I know you would have gone through as well, fighting stigma. Did you at times in your own life feel exhausted or tired that how long am I going to be able to actually do this? Vishnu, I'd like to introduce myself as this is Chona, whom you see, confident, happy, smiling, social. And there is another Mrs. Chona, which is inside that Mrs. Chona. That Mrs. Chona is hidden, which I would like to share with you. Yeah, just put the... I am taking you to another level of this discussion. And that level is the one that we all need to give attention to. What about our children after us? You have the best of friends, you have the best of family, but finally, finally, we are going to outlive them. So, has the government thought about assistive living where you can have a lifestyle which matches the lifestyle of an individual child with any kind of a problem that will be able to take the responsibility of high standard and not of the kind that we hear about the orphanages run by the government. What we are looking for is land, we are looking for cottages, we are looking for psychologists as in Germany, in Europe, in America, in most of the countries, these kids live together 
and they are actually taken responsibility of. Uh, what I fear at this age is that Tamanna has had the best of time. She has a very, very loving brother and sister-in-law. But finally, Tamanna is not the whole world. There is this situation where we need to think about 50 years from now, 40 years from now, 30 years from now, what's going to happen? So I would like, there's a lot of uh, corporate uh, presence here, to think about it and there are enough people who will put their heads together to run these small homes where there are play fields, there are some kind of leisure activities, like you have, you know, already set up in Dehradun and some places where old people can live. We should not be having this program only on the day of this day of disability. We should have part of the day in every channel devoted to that 10 to 15 percent of the population that requires um, to be understood, where awareness has to be created, where an atmosphere of life of acceptability has to be created. We need a kind of literature which has not been promoted about stories about people where, you know, others can read each other to know how common their problems are. We should be uh, celebrating a super ability day. There is no such word as a disability. This is actually, they are more enabled, the kind of emotions, the love, the affection, the kind of uh, feelings they have is much greater than any of us where we get uh, very, uh, you know, individualistic, ego comes to play, our careers become more important, but they are the ones who are giving, giving and giving. The love that they have, the purity of love that they have is absolutely divine.